All right, well, I just recently wound up with the dreaded fuel strip problem. BMW's awesome design here, not. This is on my 28, 2008, 1200 RT. So I'm gonna try the Zap technology here, see if that works. It worked a little while ago, but it came back. So we'll see, try it again. In order to get to the fuel sender, fuel strip sender, I'm gonna have to remove this screw. That screw, the top one. That screw and that screw. When I do that, this whole section of the plastic Tupperware is gonna come off. So I'm gonna have a, a bungee or something ready to hold it so it's not hanging on something else. Okay, I unscrewed those four screws, put a little bungee there and hanging that thing so I can uh, get to where I wanna get to is that connector right there. So in order to get that off, there's a little tab on there. Loosen that and pull that sucker out. That's what I'm gonna do next. All right, once that's loosened, then comes out. And those four pins are where we're gonna go at with this special tool. This is the special tool. You go, what the heck is that? This is the part of a barbecue igniter that makes a little spark. Tore it apart. I was gonna to try to keep it all together with the little trigger thing and it fell apart and I couldn't figure out how to put it back together. Then you need to make the ends so that they're gonna kinda of hang on to those pins. Cause we gotta to go to like pin one and four and zap it a few times. Then pins two and three and zap it a few times. And then hopefully it works. Okay, we've got those things wrapped around pins one and four. And zap this thing a few times. All right, back to two and three. Okay, it's on pins two and four down in there, I think. <laughs> oh, well, let's see what happens if it doesn't work. The gas gauge doesn't work. It does work. Zap, zap, zap a few times. All right, so we'll plug that thing back in and turn it on and see what happens. Ha, ha, ha. See how long it lasts this time. You got it? There it goes. So yeah, it's uh, apparently it's working right now. Um, I did this yesterday and uh, it worked until it didn't. So it's just in my humble opinion, it's just a terrible crappy design by BMW and uh, they refuse to fix it, to fix it properly. And once it's out of warranty, it's just, yeah, it's like $500 will fix it for you. Thanks. Anyway, there it is for now.